Hello everyone, I'm delighted to be here with you today and from wherever you're joining us, I hope you're keeping safe and healthy. Welcome to this presentation from the Faraday Institution Future Cathode Project, Future Cat. My name is Serena Kaur and I am the Principal Investigator of the project and a professor at the University of Sheffield. Let me begin by introducing you to our team. We are five universities Sheffield, Cambridge, Oxford, Lancaster and UCL with the ISIS Neutron and Muon Source and the National Physical Laboratory working together as a consortium to deliver the next generation of cathodes for lithium ion batteries. The interdisciplinarity of this challenge is highlighted by the breadth and depth of expertise and experience of our co-investigator team, which spans multiple areas of solid state and organic chemistry, computational analyses, polymer science, mechanical and chemical engineering, thin films, chemical processing and state-of-the-art characterization. We are now a team of 55, with our first peer-reviewed papers appearing in the literature, as well as a highly successful track record of attracting beam time for advanced characterization at central facilities. Collaboration and engagement are key to achieving our goals, and you'll see across this tree that we have multiple meetings with defined objectives that keep our team connected. The FutureCat project is striking a balance between solving fundamental scientific questions with collaboratively addressing industry-focused challenges, as well as positioning ourselves to react quickly to IP opportunities. So to this end, we have signed a number of agreements with our industry partners that are accelerating our collaborative opportunities and interactions. The FutureCat project has identified three key objectives in our ambition to design, develop and scale up the next generation of cathode materials for stable, high energy and high power den density lithium ion batteries. The first is in novel morphologies. And here we are developing new approaches to deliver compliant electrode topologies that are highly resistant to fracture and extend our battery lifetime. We're also looking at protective chemistries, and this is looking at coatings and new electrolyte additives that can extend the lifetime of our batteries and ultimately reduce their costs. And thirdly, we have materials discovery, and this is in the discovery of brand new cathode chemistries through computational plus experimental insight. So we're targeting improvements across energy and power densities, as well as first life and the cost of our batteries. So in terms of energy densities, we've identified target capacities across three key chemistries of cathode. These are all under defined cycling protocols and in line with the Faraday battery challenge targets that have been set. For power densities, we are looking at high voltage spinels and investigating novel additives, coatings and designer interfaces that can promote that fast ion conduction across interfaces. For extending the first life of batteries, again, looking at novel electrolyte additives that can extend that battery life and provide tunable cathode coatings. We're investigating designer interfaces so that we can understand those, the structure of those interfaces and therefore harness that fast ion conductivity across an interface, as well as looking at new topologies that are resistant to fracture and, and cathode cracking. In terms of cost reduction, we want to try to reduce our dependency on cobalt and look into new chemistries that are containing earth abundant elements. When we consider cost reductions, the largest cost reductions will come from the cathode material. Our industry partner Exowatt has provided us with these data which show that there is a reduction in EV battery pack costs and it illustrates that for Chinese cells, the cost of goods sold is dominated by the cathode active material. Here in the UK, we stand to make the largest commercial gains by increasing the cathode capacity. And so this is one of the key objectives of the FutureCat project. So what is the FutureCat strategy to meet these challenges? We are moving to increasingly higher nickel content cathodes, moving up to lithium nickel oxides. We are also harnessing the anion plus cation redox activity in the disordered rock salts. We want to extend that upper voltage limit for the spinel cathodes, as well as look into coatings for these types of cathode materials. 
We are understanding ionic transport through interfaces to try to improve power densities. We're also decreasing the cost and the environmental impact through the application of earth abundant alternatives for high capacity. We're discovering new materials as well as uncovering kinetic structures and examining defect densities through computational insights. And we are determining design principles to mitigate strain and cracking in cathodes, as well as affording hierarchical particle assemblies. There remain significant challenges to overcome. Moving to higher and higher nickel content cathodes presents considerable synthetic challenges, as well as challenges with degradation as eloquently expressed by the degradation consortium. Similarly, there are challenges in the synthesis and characterization of disordered rock salts, as well as understanding and harnessing the disorder expressed in these materials for optimizing their electrochemical performance. Moving to sustainable alternative chemistries that are informed by computational insights and chemical know-how also requires a sensible down selection process to focus our activities on materials of most promise. This slide nicely summarizes some of the key developments within the FutureCat consortium where we are directly tackling these challenges. The first is in the development of synthetic routes to lithium nickel oxide and her doped counterparts in polycrystalline as well as single crystal form. The second is in the development of models that can help describe the local structure of disordered rock salts and in that way try to control it or harness it as well as the application of computational tools that can guide our synthetic journey. Our strategic advisory board, who we will introduce later, um, has highlighted the, the synthetic breadth of our consortium as a particularly novel aspect. And this in combination with computational insights is really guiding our discovery of new cathode chemistries, as well as suitable dopants to these materials. The FutureCat consortium can be broadly represented by five highly integrated activities. These are extending the landscape of existing chemistries, novel materials by informed design, which is our computationally driven discovery activity, materials discovery, which is our brand new cathode chemistries, where we're looking at novel transition metal oxides based on low or zero cobalt content, Electrode longevity and prolonging lifetime by exploring coatings, additives, as well as understanding interfaces in cathodes. And electrode resilience, when we've made all of these beautiful cathodes, can we understand their mechanical strength and by understanding that, prolong the lifetime and, and reduce fracture in these, in these composite cathodes. We are bringing our expertise across the consortium to bear on industry specific problems through some of our expertise in advanced characterization methods, as well as material synthesis and manufacture. We're benchmarking our emerging materials against industry partner materials, and this has been enabled through various agreements signed with our industry partners. Placements have begun with industry partners, as well as a Faraday Institution industry fellowship with PV3 Technologies. And we're listening to our industry experts to try to understand the cost implications of moving to new cathode chemistries. We have been actively engaging with the broader community, as well as engaging in public outreach events. I wanted to introduce you to our strategic advisory board who have met with our project to assess our activities and to hear our research updates. Our researchers are deeply committed to equality, diversity and inclusion. It is a thread that runs throughout our consortium and we are engaging in multiple upcoming events as well as outreach activities. And just to highlight one, um, a recent live streaming event with the Royal Institution on the hunt for new batteries so with that, I'd like to thank my FutureCat colleagues for their hard work and their help in putting together this presentation, as well as you for your attention. We'll be happy to take any questions that you have.